like to say that the majority of the group could be here. And as it turned out, a lot of things happened between uh, last week and this, and there's a number of them that could not make it today. But uh, fortunately, there are a number of them here. And uh, what I want to do before I have them share, so they can stand here and smile, I got two thank you notes from Team Effort this week. One was to the teens and one was to the church. And so I thought I would read those and then uh, I, I gave the teens some questions to be thinking about so that they would have, because uh, I want them to share some of their thoughts and their experiences. But here are the thank you notes that I got from Team Effort. It says, Dear Warren Center Youth, It was so great getting to know and serve alongside your youth group this past week. I am so glad you came to Blue Knob or Altoona to serve this summer. Together you guys work hard painting and building a deck and you can and you can be proud of yourself and what you accomplished for Bex, who was the lady that we were working for. This week was more than just serving but making a difference in Bex's life. As you return home, please continue to remember and pray for those you served this summer. I really enjoyed getting to know you all at the work site. The team effort staff Thank you for giving up a week of your summer to serve and make a difference in the life of someone else. We enjoyed serving alongside of you. And then to the church, they said, Dear Warren Center family, Team Effort wants to thank your church for sending the youth to serve in a mission trip in Blue Knob last week. They represented your church well as they painted and built a deck, and you can be proud of their accomplishments. We know many lives in the Altoona community were changed by their words and actions. It was exciting to see your, your, your youth group put their faith in action. Because of their work, lives were changed both in the people we worked with as well as the participants in your youth group. The team effort staff thanks you for supporting your youth group on their summer missions trip. We enjoyed serving alongside of them. And again, that was from the team effort staff. And so, uh, I can say as well that I appreciate your support uh, because ultimately it costs a lot of money and uh, it takes a lot of uh, support and so many of you stepped up and did that. And I truly, truly appreciate that. We could not serve without all of us uh, working together in support of that you did. So, having said all of that, who wants to be first? <laughs>
spiritual connection with God and being His hands and feet and doing His work, you get this change in your heart. And that's essentially what happened three years ago on the first missions trip. And every year nonstop, it's just reoccurring and just honorable to go out and do the work of God. Uh, other than that, it was a great missions trip. And the only thing I could complain about is the heat. <laughs> Imagine this temperature right now, but a gazillion times hotter. That's what it was in our room. Thank you. We'll start with the net. Just work right across. Yep. I really wasn't planning on saying anything, so we'll go off the top. I was just thankful for, to be able to go and to spend time with these young people again. Um, every year I realize how much older I'm getting when I try to keep up with them, which I don't very good. But I was thankful for them, and not just uh, the work that they did, but the example they were. Um, in the trailer park that we were working at, we had several people come up to us and say, thank you for doing this for vets. Thank you, I appreciate all you've done. So much that I've even called the local news channel. And I believe we were on the news, or I mentioned of it on the news. Uh, this group from uh, the little town in Northeast Pennsylvania came down here to help us out. And it was just, and their attitude and their example, how it made a difference. When you don't even think you're making a difference, other people see it. And that doesn't go just for us doing the work, but also for you sending that being able to work through them. God does mighty things, and as the uh, song says, we are his hands, we are his feet, and we can't do it without him, but the body of Christ works together to glorify him. And so I'm just very thankful for that opportunity to go and just see how these kids, young adults, grow every year, and not just physically, but spiritually, and seeing how their walk in the faith Gross. And we just got to keep them in prayer as they go on um, and serve him. Um, I'm just going to go by what Pastor told us to. So, something I enjoyed about the trip was going to the lake to swim. Uh, something that challenged me was building the deck. And something God taught me was to be grateful for what I have and to help others in need. Hi. Um, I went by your questions too. They really helped. But um, So something I really enjoyed was mostly just being with all of them. Um, they're all so much fun and make the trip as fun as it probably could be. And... Um, I really liked that I get to meet new people, and I love being able to help people, so seeing the reaction that Bets had when we helped her was just great for me. Um, I think I was probably mostly challenged by what was said in chapel every night, and it really made me think about how I don't really pray enough, and that's really one of my weaknesses that I figured out over the trip, so and that's something I want to improve on. And so it made me think, um, about how, in general, I'm just better at writing than I am at speaking. I figured that out. So, since the trip, I have begun to write down my prayers in a book, and that way it just goes much better for me, and I'm getting better at it, and things just are much better because of that. So, I think God really taught me that I can use my writing in that way, and it'll benefit me and Him and everything. So... Thank you, everyone out there, for all their help, and yeah. Good morning. Uh, uh, one thing I enjoyed about the trip was the food. <laughs> helping Bets. Um, she was the homeowner that we were helping out. Very nice lady. Um, out, um, out, oh, actually, I had more about this. Helping bet, bets out and learn more about God. And learning how to budget. That was one thing. 
Um, I had to bring my own money, and I got to have a little, little, you know, you know what, I actually got to experience how to, you know, how money really works, and how to budget it, and I came down to the last day where I only had like five dollars, so. Something that challenged me was, I always had the thought that I want to learn anything uh, from this trip or anything, but I did uh, come to learn anything. So, let me see if you want to ask a question. That might actually answer it. One thing God taught me was prayer, and I think that's about it. Um, one thing I enjoyed was, I couldn't really pick a favorite anyways, um, I just thought of this, us being together and just having fun. Um, something that really challenged me during this week was the theme, which was pray as you go. And when I got home, my brother um, said a verse that really stuck out to me, which was um, 1 Peter 5, 7, casting all your care upon him for he cares for you, and which that means is letting him um, take your problems and he will help you solve them, which actually really spoke to me. So, and one thing that God taught me was that he will always be there no matter what, even through the toughest times. And I didn't really know that until this week, and it just really stood out to me, and I was very thankful. And I would just like to say thank you for all this love and support that you guys gave us. Thank you. Well, it's come down to my turn. I can be nervous as a geek right now. Um, but one thing that I really enjoyed is, as Peyton said, the lake. It was so nice. And even though, like, the water wasn't that deep as you went out, so you got to go further out. Um, but one thing that mainly challenged me was the last day. Um, the last night we stayed there um, at chapel, it was really hard because going through the week, having different messages at the end of the week, it just gets to you. And um, out of everyone, it, it was really awesome to see the support I got from all the other teens during the last day and night. Um, because if you were there, you'd understand it was really emotional and it like drains you spiritually. It um, brings out so many things that you never thought were there before. Um, but I just want to say that and um, I wanted to thank everyone for the support and everything and asking me how it was when I came back because it was easier for me to explain it to people than um, write it down on a piece of paper and everything like everyone else has been doing. But thank you. All right. Um, first off, I want to say that this is my first missions trip. So going into it, I was a little nervous, not exactly sure what I was going to be doing or expecting. But I ended up getting a lot closer with everybody here, every single one of them were so great to me and supportive, and I really appreciated that, and I made a lot of closer friends over the trip, so that was one of my favorite things about it, was that all the relationships I built up over the trip, and um, so not only did I build a relationship with them, but with God as well, so that was really great for me, and the biggest thing I learned was you don't need to go on a mission trip to show the love of God to other people. And that's something that I think I struggle with every day. So I think that's something I took from the week. Like the biggest thing I took from that week was even if it's little things, just talking to someone or helping them out in a time of need just by um, having a conversation that you can show the love of God to anybody, whether they – and you might not, they might not always want to receive it, but you can always try. It's more the thought that counts, which is like the cheesiest thing to say. but. Um, so I think that's what I took from it most, but I was really thankful to build the relationships with everybody on the trip and God as well. And I want to say thank you for all your love and support on the trip. Good morning, everybody. Um, I would First off, I would like to thank everybody for making this possible for all of us to go. 
Um, one of my favorite parts about the trip was just spending time with everybody and having fun. And um, one thing that definitely was one of my favorite parts was just seeing how appreciative Beth was of everything we've done for her. And the last day when we finished up her deck, every, all of us got in a hug line to go and hug her because she was she was so appreciative that she was crying. And this lady, she was a tough woman. She was rugged. And we could tell that she really appreciated it by um, her tears, and it was very, very sweet. Um, one thing that I was definitely challenged by was just getting outside of myself and, like, my tiredness. I had... I had no energy by the end of the week, but just getting outside myself and um, just serving bets and being alongside everybody else, I learned that it's not about me. And that's the, the number one thing that God taught me during the mission trip was that this life that he's blessed me with is not about me. It's about him. It's about serving other people. So I thank you for making this possible for me. And it was amazing, 
and I think praying is now the best thing ever. Yeah. Love it. Um, yeah. Also, Norma broke me. I was fine the one night. Like, we had, like, this whole connective thingy, and Norma broke me. I wasn't going to cry, and then I cried. It was Norma's fault. <laughs> um, so I was supposed to talk for Penna, too. Um, she just enjoyed being with us. Hosting me and Norma. <laughs> That's all. That's all. <laughs> So I guess I'm going to sound like a broken record because I'm going to repeat a lot of what Annette said. Um, the first couple days we were there, it seemed like uh, Bex was a little intimidated by us. She sort of shut the doors and windows the first couple days, and she was a little bit grumpy about things in her yard and like some paint on her grass and things like that. But by the last day, I think these kids just broke her down because she was coming out, visiting with them, and hanging out with them. And finally, when the deck was completely finished, and we asked her to come out and get a picture with the kids. And she was just so grateful, and she started crying. They did. They just started a big hug on and everybody just went up. And it was a big sob fest. It was great. Um, but what touched me the most was our, our last night of chapel. Um, they, they always do something on the last night of chapel, which is pretty special. And to see the spirituality of these young adults, I won't call you kids, <laughs> um, and the cohesiveness in this group, and the support that they give each other is just so... It's so touching to watch them. They're, uh, they're really a great group, and they take in any outsider that comes along. They just suck them up. You know, they're, they're, they're just a great bunch, and um, I just enjoy being with them. with God. 
uh, as some of the teens said. You know, our prayer really isn't about what we say in the morning or what we say at night when we go to bed or, or the formal times of prayer. Uh, prayer is to be more of a, a relationship with God and a conversation that we have with God on, on a regular basis. And so they were, they were challenged uh, in regards to those things. Probably the message, for whatever reason, that they shared during the week that was the most challenging to me um, was when they were talking about Jonah uh, and Jonah running away from God. And, and I had never really looked at it this way, but the, the one that was sharing said, you know, uh, God did Jonah a favor um, by sending the big fish to swallow him up. Um, God really was, it wasn't necessarily a punishment as much as God did him a favor by sparing his life and by giving him the opportunity to turn around and to go where God wanted him to go. And of course the challenge is that God has something for all of us. Um, God has a plan and a reason for all of our lives. And we need to be willing to follow that plan and do what God wants us to do. And maybe a small part of that was spending a week in Altoona this summer. Uh, the larger part of that is what some of them have mentioned, is serving God every day. You know, with any of the opportunities that God gives us, uh, we need to take those opportunities and allow God to use us uh, in those things. I think I said this last year as well, but it was encouraging to me and challenging to me again, is to um, see the depth of the spiritual life of the teens uh, that, that go in our group. Uh, every day as part of the chapel service at night, they have a little thing that they call, what was it, scattered beans, I think. And, and every day they, they ask if somebody from each group would be willing to come up and share an example of something they saw God doing that day. Uh, and I don't think they ever had to beg anybody from our group to go up. Um, somebody jumped up uh, and went up a couple of you sometimes um, every day. And, and when I say the depth, and, and I'm not picking on anybody else. I, I don't misunderstand anything because I'm really not criticizing anybody else as much as I want to compliment our teens. Because every day there would be, you know, somebody that would come up and say, you know, somebody in our group today hit their thumb with a hammer. And I'm thinking, okay, where are they going with this? That was it. Laugh, sit back down. That was funny, you know. But uh, the kids from our group would come up and share, you know, this is what I saw God do today. And this is how I saw God supply our need for God work. And I, you know, just the depth of the, the spiritual knowledge and relationship and looking for something that God was doing that day uh, is a tremendous encouragement to me. To go right along with that, I, I'm always encouraged by the desire of our teens to go above and beyond. You know, I mean, our responsibility, if you want to call it that, uh, was to work with Betts this, that week to tear down her deck that was falling apart. Uh, to repaint uh, her trailer, which was in desperate need of, of repair. That was our responsibility. I called on Monday a few of the teams that I saw standing there, and I said, come over here for a minute. I said, I want you to do something. I don't want you to say anything, but I want you to look for something extra that we could do this week. Something above and beyond what we're required to do this week, just to, to show God's love. And so I know more than God had out of my mouth, and the teens are already, well, here's what we already saw that we can do. And I went, okay, I was waiting for you to take a day or two and to look. And they said, no, no, we've already seen this, and we can work on that, and, and this is something that we can work on. They were already looking to serve God in some other way, in addition to what our responsibilities were that week. And they went out of their way to do that. Uh, and, and I don't know about anybody else, that's an encouragement to me. Because it's easy to do what we're required to do. But it's something special to me to go above and beyond that and to look for other ways that we can show God's love, other ways that we can show, in this case, show that's that we really do care about her. You know, I think one of the greatest encouragements or blessings is not necessarily seeing what we do for somebody else, in this case, Bets. The greatest thing to me is seeing how God works in our life what God teaches us, what God challenges us with, and how God changes us. And, and the kids already talked about that, so I'm not even going to detail. But if you notice, teens, God not only encouraged bets through your ministry, 
God not only worked in your lives through this week, God also challenged the team effort staff through you guys this week. And if you noticed on the last night, Caitlin, who was the uh, team effort staff that worked with us during the week, got up and said, you know, I I've been a little jealous, or I don't know how she worded it, but I've been a little jealous this, this, this summer. Because every week some of the staff are saying, this is what I saw God do. I haven't had the opportunity to do any of that. And she said, I felt a little like I was missing something or a little less left out. But she said, you know, the group from the Warren Center, the last day, what they did was so moving to me. When they got that out and everybody hugged her and talked with her and communicated with her, she said, I had not seen God work that way all summer long. And she said, I saw it today in our group. And, and so God not only maybe encouraged Bats and challenged her and, and worked in our lives in some way, even the staff that was there this, this year, God used you to encourage and challenge them. And, and so, you know, as the song said on the thing, God is on the move, God is at work. Uh, and God used you this year uh, to challenge people in their spiritual lives. And, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity that I had uh, to be a small part of that uh, this, this summer. So I thank you uh, and appreciate uh, what, what you did this summer.